Hey everyone, hi, I'm Scott Heimler. I'm the founder of Contractpreneur.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about how some jobs just ain't worth it. Some of the jobs you get calls for can't hold their weight. Uh, it isn't big enough to justify a reasonable cost of doing business, your service call plus you know, your labor cost. For example, uh, you get a call from a little old lady in one of your favorite neighborhoods. Her problem is the toilet paper holder has come off the wall and she can't fix it. For anyone that can hold a screwdriver, this is a 10 minute job, so it's going to be hard to justify the money that you have to charge her for this. Or is it? You may feel guilty of the minimum price for such a small job, but you know that you have to charge it to make your business make sense. Here are some considerations and suggestions to knock this one out of the park. First, don't ever consider the time on the job as your only time invested. It's, there's just more, much more to it than that. You are very good at what you do and more than likely have done this sort of thing many times before and it's quick and easy for you. You have time in your life invested in this repair so that it is easy and quick for you. So here's some more justification for that. Did the parts and tools magically fly onto your truck? No. At some point you had to drive to the supply house to get them and restock your truck. Now let's call that 15 minutes and I'm being gracious. Did you have to drive to the job? Certainly, you probably did. So if you're following the contractpreneur marketing suggestions, you're targeting your clients within a close proximity of your home. So let's call that 15 minutes. And again, I'm being gracious about that time. The repair did take 10 minutes. The lead for this job came from Google, so that cost us $10. It takes 10 minutes to fill out the invoices and collect. And I'm really being gracious here because you know you need to be friendly and talk to the client. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity to get to know your new client and her to get to know you. Because this goes a long way with client retention. At some point you need to restock that part so that uh, that will cost you time also. Also, let's say that took 15 minutes. Now sure you're probably going to buy many parts at the same time but point is that it takes time for everything that you, and you have to get paid for your time for you to make your financial goals. So as you can see you will always have more than 10 minutes in a job. The problem is the time on the job is all the client sees and the real cost of the job sometimes upsets them. I highly recommend that you just accept that it is very possible that if someone balks at your minimum charges that they just may not be your client. If they see the value, if they can't see the value of the contract entrepreneur level repairman coming to their home and charging what he or she has to keep their business alive, then gently but firmly thank them for their time but maybe you know, just, just recommend that they call someone else. And, I, and I'm not being harsh here. The, re, the reality of the cycle of dollars in your business has to be enough to keep it afloat at all times. Now, all that said, could you treat this as an opportunity to give a freebie to just meet the new client and give her a business card? Sure, you could do that. Could you arrange that in lieu of a, uh, the free service that she introduced you to the homeowner association president and give you a glowing review? Certainly you could do that. Could you ask her to give you a five-star review on Google or another marketing avenue instead of payment? Sure could. Could you ask her to put a sign in her yard for a week? Certainly. There are several takeaways here. 99% of the time, never give your services away without something coming back to you for it. You know, please do some charity work, but be careful with that. Charity doesn't pay your mortgage. Never consider any amount of your working time is worthless. Your time and your skills are extremely valuable. Okay, this is it for now, and I thank you for your time. I hope this has helped you. Please scroll down and leave me a message or a question. I'm always glad to help you any way I can, and I'll see you in the next video.